Section one of Chance for Socialists. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. The Day is Coming by William Morris. Read for LibriVox.org by Newgate Novelist. Come hither, lads, and hearken, for a tale there is to tell of the wonderful days are coming when all shall be better than well and the tale shall be told of a country a land in the midst of the sea and folk shall call it england in the days that are going to be there more than one in a thousand in the days that are yet to come shall have some hope of the morrow some joy of the ancient home for then laugh not but listen to this strange tale of mine all folk that are in england shall be better lodged than swine then a man shall work and bethink him and rejoice in the deeds of his hand nor yet come home in the even too faint and weary to stand men in that time are coming shall work and have no fear for tomorrow's lack of earning and the hunger wolf are near i tell you this for a wonder that no man then shall be glad of his fellow's fall and mishap to snatch at the work he had for that which the worker winneth shall then be his indeed nor shall half be reaped for nothing by him that sowed no seed oh strange new wonderful justice but for whom shall we gather the gain for ourselves and for each of our fellows and no hand shall labour in vain then all mine and all thine shall be ours and no more shall any man crave for riches that serve for nothing but to fetter a friend for a slave and what wealth then shall be left us when none shall gather gold to buy his friend in the market and pinch and pine the sold nay what save the lovely city and the little house on the hill and the wastes and the woodland beauty and the happy fields we till and the homes of ancient stories the tombs of the mighty dead and the wise men seeking out marvels and the poet's teeming head and the painter's hand of wonder and the marvellous fiddle bow and the banded choirs of music all those that do and know for all these shall be ours and all men's nor shall any lack a share of the toil and the gain of living in the days when the world grows fair ah such are the days that shall be but what are the deeds of to-day in the days of the years we dwell in that wear our lives away why then and for what are we waiting there are three words to speak we will it and what is the foeman but the dream strong wakened and weak oh why and for what are we waiting while our brothers droop and die and on every wind of the heavens a wasted life goes by how long shall they reproach us where crowd on crowd they dwell poor ghosts of the wicked city the gold crushed hungry hell through squalid life they laboured in sordid grief they died those sons of a mighty mother those props of england's pride they are gone there is none can undo it nor save our souls from the curse but many a million cometh and shall they be better or worse it is we must answer and hasten and open wide the door for the rich man's hurrying terror and the slow foot hope of the poor yea the voiceless wrath of the wretched and their unlearned
and discontent we must give it voice and wisdom till the waiting tide be spent come then since all things call us the living and the dead and o'er the weltering tangle a glimmering light is shed come then let us cast off fooling and put by ease and rest for the cause alone is worthy till the good days bring the best come join in the only battle wherein no man can fail where whoso fadeth and dieth yet his deed shall still prevail ah come cast off all fooling for this at least we know that the dawn and the day is coming and forth the banners go end of poem this recording is in the public domain the voice of toil by william morris read for librivox.org by newgate novelist i heard men saying leave hope and praying all days shall be as all have been today and tomorrow bring fear and sorrow the never-ending toil between when earth was younger mid toil and hunger in hope we strove and our hands were strong then great men led us with words they fed us and bade us right the earthly wrong go read in story their deeds and glory their names amidst the nameless dead turn then from lying to us slow dying in that good world to which they led where fast and faster our iron master the thing we made forever drives bids us grind treasure and fashion pleasure for other hopes and other lives where home is a hovel and dull we grovel forgetting that the world is fair where no babe we cherish lest its very soul perish where our mirth is crime our love a snare who now shall lead us what god shall heed us as we lie in the hell our hands have won for us are no rulers but fools and befoolers the great are fallen the wise men gone i heard men saying leave tears and praying the sharp knife heedeth not the sheep are we not stronger than the rich and the wronger when day breaks over dreams and sleep come shoulder to shoulder ere the world grows older help lies in naught but thee and me hope is before us the long years that bore us bore leaders more than men may be let dead hearts tarry and trade and marry and trembling nurse their dreams of mirth while we the living our lives are giving to bring the bright new world to birth come shoulder to shoulder ere earth grows older the cause spreads over land and sea now the world shaketh and fear awaketh and joy at last for thee and me end of poem this recording is in the public domain no master by william morris read for LibriVox.org by newgate novelist saith man to man we've heard and known that we no master need to live upon this earth our own in fair and manly deed the grief of slaves long passed away for us hath forged the chain till now each worker's patient day builds up the house of pain and we shall we too crouch and quail 
ashamed afraid of strife and lest our lives untimely fail embrace the death in life nay cry aloud and have no fear we few against the world awake arise the hope we bear against the curse is hurled it grows and grows are we the same the feeble band the few or what are these with eyes aflame and hands to deal and do this is the host that bears the word no master high or low a lightning flame a shearing sword a storm to overthrow end of poem this recording is in the public domain all for the cause by william morris read for librivox dot org by newgate novelist hear a word a word in season for the day is drawing nigh when the cause shall call upon us some to live and some to die he that dies shall not die lonely many an one hath gone before he that lives shall bear no burden heavier than the life they bore nothing ancient is their story e'en but yesterday they bled youngest they of earth's beloved last of all the valiant dead e'en the tidings we are telling was the tale they had to tell e'en the hope that our hearts cherish was the hope for which they fell in the grave where tyrants thrust them lies their labour and their pain but undying from their sorrow springeth up the hope again mourn not therefore nor lament it that the world outlives their life voice and vision yet they give us making strong our hands for strife some had name and fame and honour learned they were and wise and strong some were nameless poor unlettered weak in all but grief and wrong named and nameless all live in us one and all they lead us yet every pain to count for nothing every sorrow to forget hearken how they cry o oh, happy happy ye that ye were born in the sad slow night's departing in the rising of the morn fair the crown the cause hath for you well to die or well to live through the battle through the tangle peace to gain or peace to give ah it may be oft me seemeth in the days that yet shall be when no slave of gold abideth twixt the breadth of sea to sea oft when men and maids are merry ere the sunlight leaves the earth and they bless the day beloved all too short for all their mirth some shall pause a while and ponder on the bitter days of old ere the toil of strife and battle overthrew the curse of gold then twixt lips of loved and lover solemn thoughts of us shall rise we who once were fools and dreamers then shall be the brave and wise there amidst the world new builded shall our earthly deeds abide though our names be all forgotten and the tale of how we died life or death then who shall heed it what we gain or what we lose fair flies life amid the struggle and the cause for each shall choose hear a word a word in season for the day is drawing nigh when the cause shall call upon us some to live and some to die end of poem this recording is in the public domain
the march of the workers by william morris read for LibriVox.org by newgate novelist what is this the sound and rumour what is this that all men hear like the wind in hollow valleys when the storm is drawing near like the rolling on of ocean in the eventide of fear tis the people marching on whither go they and whence come they what are these of whom ye tell in what country are they dwelling twixt the gates of heaven and hell are they mine or thine for money will they serve a master well still the rumours marching on hark the rolling of the thunder lo the sun and lo thereunder riseth wrath and hope and wonder and the host comes marching on forth they come from grief and torment on they wend toward health and mirth all the wide world is their dwelling every corner of the earth buy them sell them for thy service try the bargain what tis worth for the days are marching on these are they who build thy houses weave thy raiment win thy wheat smooth the rugged fill the barren turn the bitter into sweet all for thee this day and ever what reward for them is meet till the host comes marching on hark the rolling of the thunder lo the sun and lo thereunder riseth wrath and hope and wonder and the host comes marching on many a hundred years passed over have they laboured deaf and blind never tidings reached their sorrow never hope their toil might find now at last they've heard and hear it and the cry comes down the wind and their feet are marching on o oh, ye rich men hear and tremble for with words the sound is rife once for you and death we laboured changed henceforward is the strife we are men and we shall battle for the world of men and life and our host is marching on hark the rolling of the thunder lo the sun and lo there under riseth wrath and hope and wonder and the host comes marching on is it war then will ye perish as the dry wood in the fire is it peace then be ye of us let your hope be our desire come and live for life awaketh and the world shall never tire and hope is marching on on we march then we the workers and the rumour that ye hear is the blended sound of battle and deliverance drawing near for the hope of every creature is the banner that we bear and the world is marching on hark the rolling of the thunder lo the sun and lo there under riseth wrath and hope and wonder and the host comes marching on end of poem this recording is in the public domain down among the dead men by william morris read for LibriVox.org by newgate novelist come comrades come your glasses clink up with your hands a health to drink the health of all that workers be in every land on every sea and he that will this health deny down among the dead men down among the dead men down 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 among the dead men let him lie well done now drink another toast and pledge the gathering of the host the people armed in brain and hand to claim their rights in every land and he that will this health deny down among the dead men down among the dead men down 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 among the dead men let him lie 
there's liquor left come let's be kind and drink the rich a better mind that when we knock upon the door they may be off and say no more and he that will this health deny down among the dead men down among the dead men down 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 among the dead men let him lie now comrades let the glass blush red drink we the unforgotten dead that did their deeds and went away before the bright sun brought the day and he that will this health deny down among the dead men down among the dead men down 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 among the dead men let him lie the day ah friends late grows the night drink to the glimmering spark of light the herald of the joy to be the battle torch of thee and me and he that will this health deny down among the dead men down among the dead men down 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 among the dead men let him lie take yet another cup in hand and drink in hope our little band drink strife in hope while lasteth breath and brotherhood in life and death and he that will this health deny down among the dead men down among the dead men down 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 among the dead men let him lie end of poem this recording is in the public domain a death song by william morris read for LibriVox.org by newgate novelist what cometh here from west to east a wending and who are these the marchers stern and slow we bear the message that the rich are sending aback to those who bade them wake and know not one not one nor thousands must they slay but one and all if they would dusk the day we asked them for a life of toilsome earning they bade us bide their leisure for our bread we craved to speak to tell our woeful learning we come back speechless bearing back our dead not one not one nor thousands must they slay but one and all if they would dusk the day they will not learn they have no ears to hearken they turn their faces from the eyes of fate their gay lit halls shut out the skies that darken but lo this dead man knocking at the gate not one not one nor thousands must they slay but one and all if they would dusk the day here lies the sign that we shall break our prison amidst the storm he won a prisoner's rest but in the cloudy dawn the sun arisen brings us our day of work to win the best not one not one nor thousands must they slay but one and all if they would dusk the day end of poem this recording is in the public domain may day eighteen ninety two by william morris read for librivox dot org by newgate novelist the workers o oh, earth once again cometh spring to deliver thy winter-worn heart o oh, thou friend of the sun fair blossom the meadows from river to river and the birds sing their triumph o'er winter undone o oh, earth how a toiling thou singest thy labour and upholdest the flower-crowned cup of thy bliss as when in the feast tide drinks neighbour to neighbour and all words are gleeful and naught is amiss but we we o oh mother through long generations we have toiled and been fruitful 
but never with thee might we raise up our bowed heads and cry to the nations to look on our beauty and hearken our glee unlovely of aspect heart-sick and a-weary on the season's fair pageant all dim-eyed we gaze of thy fairness we fashion a prison-house dreary and in sorrow wear over each day of our days the earth o oh, children o oh, toilers what foemen beleaguer the house i have built you the home i have won full great are my gifts and my hands are all eager to fill every heart with the deeds i have done the workers the foemen are born of thy body o mother in our shape are they shapen their voice is the same and the thought of their hearts is as ours and no other it is they of our own house that bring us to shame the earth are ye few are they many what words have ye spoken to bid your own brethren remember the earth what deeds have ye done that the bonds should be broken and men dwell together in good will and mirth the workers they are few we are many and yet o oh, our mother many years were we wordless and naught was our deed but now the word flitteth from brother to brother we have furrowed the acres and scattered the seed the earth win on then unyielding through fair and foul weather and pass not a day that your deed shall avail and in hope every springtide come gather together that unto the earth ye may tell all your tale then this shall i promise that i am abiding the day of your triumph the ending of gloom and no wealth that ye will then my hand shall be hiding and the tears of the spring into roses shall bloom end of poem this recording is in the public domain may day eighteen ninety four by william morris read for librivox dot org by newgate novelist clad is the year in all her best the land is sweet and sheen now spring with summer at her breast goes down the meadows green here are we met to welcome in the young abounding year to praise what she would have us win ere winter draweth near for surely all is not in vain this gallant show she brings but seal of hope and sign of gain beareth this spring of springs no longer now the seasons wear dull without any tale of how the chain the toilers bear is growing thin and frail but hope of plenty and good will flies forth from land to land nor any now the voice can still that crieth on the hand a little while shall spring come back and find the ancient home yet marred by foolish waste and lack and most enthralled by some a little while and then at last shall the greetings of the year be blent with wonder of the past and all the griefs that were a little while and they that meet the living year to praise shall be to them as music sweet that grief of bygone days so be we merry to our best now the land is sweet and sheen and spring with summer at her breast goes down the meadows green end of poem this recording is in the public domain and end of chance for socialists by william morris thank you for listening